and will you look at that such a simple code and all of your component now is signal based of course using all of the reactivity that comes along with it but wait you might be wondering what i'm talking about so let's rewind a bit so angular 17.1 was released a few days ago and with it the new angular signal inputs api now signal based inputs are a new way to define inputs inside of components now from the outside the definition is going to remain the same it's going to be used the same way but from the inside now inputs will be able to be accessed as signals and with it we will be able to use all of the reactivity that comes along with the signals but let's first ask ourselves why did we need signal inputs in the first place well to answer that let's look at a simple example now i have here a simple videos explorer app which i recently built to show the view transitions api in action now you can find the uh, video uh, in the link that i have above in, in case you're interested in that but for this app we have a dashboard component as you can see here the videos dashboard component basically the dashboard lists my, a group of youtube videos from my uh, youtube channel now in order to sort the videos and filter them according to the tag we have two inputs that this uh, component accepts one is the sort and the other is the tag uh, on which it should be filtered the videos here i have kept as a static list uh, in my video service in order to reduce complexity for this tutorial okay so now the question is how do we change the list based on the changes in the inputs that we get from here the, that is whether the when the tag changes or when the sort changes how do we actually update the list so the official way to do that till now has been to use the ng on changes uh, lifecycle method which has been provided by angular uh, since angular 2 was introduced so let's see how we do that here so we have an ng on changes which we declare here in the component and we just use a function which we have created called update videos which uses the latest value of tag and sort and then updates the videos so let's see how this uh, looks and whether this works so this is our app and you can see we have our the tagging and the sorting is working like this when we click on sort it's going to sort and we can click on all or any of the other tags you can see that uh, it's filtering fine okay so this works but what happens if we for example add another input now this input for example we add another input here and we call this layout now this input only changes the layout of the videos dashboard it does not change the videos list itself at least it should not but if we keep the update videos inside of ng on changes here this means that it is going to update the videos even if the layout changes which we don't want so how would we handle that in that case now in that case we need to first of all add the parameter here simple changes and then we are going to check simple changes tag now if tag property is there in simple changes it means that the tag property has tag input has changed when this ng on changes was called so this is sufficient to check whether it has been changed and then simple changes sort great so now only when these two have changed we can actually we need to actually call the update videos function and now when we test it it's going to work the same way great so but you can see that it immediately that it involves some more code and the other problem with this approach is uh, you can see that it is not declarative and it is also not reactive so we have to uh, explicitly specify what to actually change when any of the input changes so now there are two more ways that we can do the same thing uh, but both are less than ideal of course uh, the first one is to use setters with the inputs so for example this input we can convert to setters so instead of this input tag all we can do set and we can use a tag name give the value as a parameter and then handle whatever you want to change as a result of the tag change inside of this the same thing we can do here we can do sort val string and then inside of this we can call the update videos function so this is nice in that we have to specify separately but this is also bad because we need to call this update videos in two places instead of the one place for ng on changes here also another issue with this is that we have we need to have another uh, component variable because uh, the setter does not uh, automatically give a component variable so we need to have for example a tag variable here and then we need to set this tag variable before this and set it to the value so that we can use this tag in our templates and also inside of the update videos function 
So you can see that it's also less than ideal and a lot of code for something simple as, you know, uh, just being reactive to the inputs. Uh, and the second thing then is the second way to do this, uh, which a lot of senior developers use is to use the RxJS behavior subject model. So what we do there is then we remove the local variable, for instance, and instead we create two behavior subjects. Now a behavior subject is a subject in RxJS which has a prior stored value. So it will have a last stored value accessible all of the time. So uh, we are going to make this a new behavior subject and the type here will be string and the initial value will be all. Similarly for sort, we will have a new behavior subject as well, a string and an ascending value. And then in, within these inputs, uh, the setters, we are going to make them the same and we are just going to set the next value of the behavior subject itself. So we are going to do this val. Similarly for this. So what this is going to do is whenever the input is passed on here, it's going to set the behavior subject to that value and the behavior subject is going to emit a new value. And whenever this emits a new value, we can then handle it accordingly. Then how do, what do we do in response of that? Instead of this ng on changes, we can convert it into an ng on init. And inside of this, we can use combine latest which is an operator uh, in RxJS which combines two observables uh, and then we can do something when any of them changes. So for example in combine latest we can give this dot tag and then we can do this dot sort and then here we can subscribe to them and here we are going to get the tag value, the last tag value and the last sort value and then in this subscription we can then call update videos. Of course we'll need to give this tag and sort inside of this and we'll have to update our function accordingly but you get the idea. Great. So as you can see, this is nice and reactive. So you can have whenever the tag and the sort changes, it's going to automatically update itself. But again, it requires extra code. And also it requires the familiarity with RxJS, which not everyone has, especially uh, those Angu uh, Angular devs who are new or who are beginning the Angular framework. So again, less than ideal. Okay, so now it's enough of problems. Uh, I've told you a lot of problems in the current approaches. Now let's look at the solution. And the solution is, of course, in the form of the Signals API. Okay, so let's uh, try to resolve these issues in our code and let's see how we can change this. So instead of the behavior subject, let's first change these variables to actually be signals. So we are going to do, let's say, current tag and let's say a new signal. We want to make it a writable signal, okay? Similarly, we can actually do this current sort. Let's make this a signal as well, okay? And in these inputs, we can, instead of using the behavior subject, we can actually just do this dot current tag dot set. We're going to set the value that we get from this input. And similarly, we can do this dot current sort, okay? Great. Now we have our inputs in our signals. And as you might remember that signals also has a computed primitive. So since we want to use these signals to generate the videos list, why not use a computed to actually uh, generate the videos list through that. So instead of this videos variable that we have here, we can convert this into a signal itself that is a computed. So let's make it, let's make this videos into a computed and computed is basically just a function which uses a signal and returns the values for that new signal. So in this case, we can remove ng on in it. We don't need it anymore. And this updated videos function, we can actually just shift to our computed here. Let's remove this. And inside of this uh, computed, we are going to check the current tag, which is the signal which has our tags value. And instead of assigning it to the videos, we are just going to return this. Also change the sort to current sort and Similarly, we can just return this in this case as well. Again, this dot tag is going to become current tag and this dot sort is going to become current sort. Great. So I hope you have covered everything here and we don't need this return here. Okay. So now videos is a signal itself. So we need to change the template to update these things. And let's go to our template now and let's see what the errors are. So you can see that we have a sort here but we need to convert that to current sort. Then we have this tag here, which is the tag from our for loop. So that's fine. But we also need to, no, I think we don't need to change any of this. We need to change this, the router link tag. This should be current tag. 
again this should be current sort so that everything is reactive and this videos should now be a signal accessing as well okay and i think that's it and let's test this out and see how this works so now you can see that our app is truly reactive with signals and the sort works and the filtering also works on tag great so now the result is everything works the same as before but the internals has changed to use signals and you can see how simple this is whenever any of the signals current tag or the current sort changes automatically our computer changes and the videos are updated on the ui but of course one last piece of the puzzle which we can now do in 17.1 is to actually update the inputs so now with 17.1 we don't need to do all of this stuff here we can simply use a new way to declare signals and we can say tag is equals to input and inside of this input we can give all nice and simple similarly we can do input and we can do sending here so we don't need this thing and also we don't need this these two temporary signals that we created for reactivity so now our inputs are automatically signals and we can just change this current tag everywhere that we have into tag simply and similarly the current sort everywhere that we have into sort nice and simple and will you look at that such a simple code and all of your component now is signal based of course using all of the reactivity that comes along with it so let's save this and let's just try it out again and you can see it works the same way again you can sort you can change the tags so signal based inputs are another piece of the puzzle of the whole signals reactivity paradigm which angular has been pushing for the last uh, six months or even an year and honestly it feels like a dream come true for a lot of angular developers like me who have been developing with angular for a long time now so that was quite a bit of stuff that was quite a long video and i hope you can see exactly why we needed signal inputs in the first place and what problems it has resolved for us now the end result is better more concise and reactive code for angular components it's easier to write and maintain and less frustrating to deal with so thanks for watching and uh, if you like this video uh, please subscribe so that i can bring you more videos like this and i'll see you again next time